Okay, so g'day guys, ladies and gentlemen, it finally fucking happened. Magic weapons are getting stomped out and patched by Bethesda. So this is a quick little spur of the moment video, no script, nothing like that, just off the top of my head. A video addressing this fact, addressing the people that use magic weapons. In specific, the shotgun magic weapon users. I see a lot of people, specifically part of the Angry Turtle community, that are throwing a fit, to say the least. They are saying that their shotgun builds are worthless, yada yada yada, they can't do any damage, they can't kill enemies. And this is due to because they were relying solely on these bullshit, glitched, broken, magic, quote unquote magic, I hate that fucking name, but magic weapons. <laughs> they were relying solely on these magic shotguns or these magic armor pieces that somehow done bonus damage to your shotguns. But that's all been patched, as evident by the new PTS, if you've actually had a look on that. It's been fixed, and I guess in this video, in this message to you guys that are complaining, I'm going to show you that your shotguns and your shotgun builds can still be very powerful. I'm going to link a video on the top right right now, and I'm going to put it on screen. This is Odin, the Enforcer, my actually OP, like actually OP, I've earned that title to put it in the title of the video, OP shotgun build, okay? <laughs> it's actually powerful. And if you guys are people that enjoy using shotguns, then follow this build, follow what I say in this build, and you'll be laughing, you'll be loving life, and you'll actually be having a really good time, you'll be killing things left, right, and bloody center. And I'm going to cut here and just go and see some enemies, probably some super mutants, some scorch beasts, and I'll just show you guys the potential that it holds. But yeah, a message to all of you magic users, you don't need that bullshit any longer, and you don't need to complain. Shotguns are still powerful, and allow me to show you that. Alright, so a little bit of housekeeping before we get into it, just because I know people will ask. This is the build that I'm currently using. It is a little bit different from what's in the video that I told you guys to check out, because I've, me I've mixed it around with some legendary perks and all that, and it's opened up some new opportunities. But by and large, it's the exact same as in that video, just a little bit different. These are the legendary perk cards that I'm choosing. Legendary agility maxed out. Legendary Luck, I explain all of this in a separate video. Follow through, with Far Flung Fireworks, all that funky jazz, it's very useful for this build. And these are my weapons that I'm going to be using for the duration of the video. Nothing magic about this shotgun, just purely awesomeness. <laughs> Same as this one. And the fancy pump action, we all know that one is magic, I will not be using that. This one is definitely not magic, nor is this one. And this one sadly is, it's the only bloodied gore shotgun I could get though, but sadly with that 50% limb damage it is magic, so I will not be using that. And just so I don't have to go through it in the comments section, here's all my armour. None of it is magic. It's all just unyielding AP refresh and some of them have cavalier and some of them have reduced fall damage. So with that said, let's get into it. Gonna be using the bloodied explosive combat shotgun first up. And yeah, it's still dropping these level 75 super mutants like they're nothing. People love to complain that they can't do any damage because their magic weapons have been fixed. But here I am not even using any magic and still getting better performance than what you guys were with your magic weapons. Let that sink in. Let's just take a little switch over to the vampires, if I can find it. Still one shot into two shot and things. As you'll be able to see. Only now, I'm just healing myself non-stop. Because it's obviously vampires. Very powerful. Goes with the build, since this is min-maxed for damage output, and a little bit of tanking on the side. So, switching in between the bloodied combat shotgun and the vampires is definitely beneficial for our style, our play style. So there, I used probably two stim packs there. Killed everything with one to two shots from my bloodied, even using to my vampires when I switched to that. I mean, super mutants are probably the hardest mid tier regular enemy you'll come across, and you know, I don't need to go and kill more, I just took out heaps there. It's <laughs> on to the next enemy. And here we are, we're going to be facing some ghouls. Something to keep in mind here this is one wasteland after all, so all of these ghouls are extremely powerful, they're all level 100 or 75 which makes them deal a lot more damage. So, it's going to get up here and gather them around, see if we can get a big group in here or something like that. Probably doesn't look like it, they're going to walk around, but going to be using my vampires again. One to two shots, 
with a non uh, damage dealing legendary prefix. And as you can see, we're A-OK. -okay. Gonna see if I can switch to my bloodied. And just shoot the ground, see if we can't cripple a few of them, just to show off that aspect. <laughs> Far flung fireworks took them all out! Yep, apparently that's a useless perk, even though it just killed like five ghouls. <laughs> anyways, uh, I'll try and show off the, uh, well you already know that you can cripple enemies super easy with this. But here I am just taking out ghouls. Ghouls are no problem. I'm using the wrong bloodied. For some reason that did no damage. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you don't need magic weapons when facing enemies like this anyway, but I just thought I'd show it off. In case anyone was curious. Let's go on to some enemies that are a little bit tougher. Not today, mate. Alright, and here we are back where the video started. I'm going to take out these Scorch Beasts finally, but with a bit of tactics. I'm going to see if I can't cripple their wings. And then force them to land, and then actually... Yep, there we go, there's one land. Switch over to the bloodied. Aim at the head. Bang, 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 bang. Even with all this damage calculation change nonsense. It's still fine. Like... Hardest regular enemy, I'd say, barring the Scorch Beast, but I can't really find... I mean, barring the Imposter Sheep Scorch and regular Sheep Scorch, but I can't really find one of them to test on right now, so... Regular Scorch Beast will do for testing, and they're probably the <laughs> hardest enemy to face. They're fine. I'm fine. No problemo at all. Can't really get this guy while he's in the air, but that's no problem. Hey, we've got some more guys to deal with. As you can see, I'm tanking a lot of <laughs> shots here, and it's just no problem at all. Like, I don't know what people are complaining about saying that shotguns are just crap. Without the magic, I hope this video reaches a lot of those magic users and just converts them to the way of fucking creating a decent build. Because if you create a decent build, then you don't need to rely on magic to be your damage dealer, but whatevs. Let's just truck along, try and cripple this guy, target that guy, whatever. Get the uh, wing, get a critical in there. There we go, crippled his wing. Can we cripple the other one? we can. And that's going to be a land. And then that's going to be a death. If we can buddy stop getting staggered by all these regular other enemies. <laughs> there we go. And he's dead. No problem. Notice the lack of me dying as well. <laughs> also I'd just like to mention that we don't need to be using vats. I just like to use vats since it guarantees every pallet hits for max damage. We don't need to use vats to be uh, dealing heaps of damage. See there, I probably just crippled his wing, maybe. And here I'll just use non-vats to kill this one. Bang. No problemo. Easy does it. So, a message to all magic users that were using magic on their shotgun builds that are saying, oh, I can't kill anything, my builds are useless now. Yeah. No shit, you're probably using Through Hiker, Good With Salt, and fucking White Knight in your perk selection. Build a proper build based around a specific playstyle, and you'll be fine. See, I didn't even have max rank of Tenderize in there because I accidentally scrapped it. And this build isn't even complete because I've still got to unlock a few more perks to put in luck. That's because of the legendary perks giving me more luck. But anyways, build a proper build, and you'll be fine. But yeah. Huge shout out to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members, this was just a weird little video, <laughs> I don't know, unscripted. If you'd like to follow me on all my social media, it's in the description as always. I've been Tia, and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.